Hey everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. You know, since we are stuck in orbit over ancient Rome, I thought it might be a good time to teach the bots a little something about history. Mike, this encyclopedia is worthless for my biography of Roland Gift. Yeah, Mike, it's really old. It lists Hitler as a fairly stable veteran of the Great War. Oh, come on, they're not that old, they're fine. Oh uh, yeah, it mentions the light bulb as a charming theory. Yeah, and Congress is spelt with an F. What is it, Congress? Well, well I used it when I was a kid. Well, they seemed fine then. The periodic table has three elements in it, Mike. There's a volume for the letter Epsilon. There's a mailing address for Machu Picchu. It's got a picture of Stonehenge. So? Under construction? Yeah. Oh, well, so what you high-minded encyclopedia snobs are trying to tell me is you want a new set. Fine, uh, I'll get you a new set. Anything that's not handwritten on papyrus will do. Yeah, that's, that's very true. funny. We'll be right back. <laughs> you know, they got me through college. He never finished college, Mike. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, look, yeah. someday we hope to harness fire to serve man, not simply terrorize him with horrifying randomness. Yeah, yeah, and, and here's a whole section on our deadly foes, the dinosaurs. Okay, you Whoa. belly achers, gotcha. A brand spanking new set of encyclopedias, each page with an internet uplink so you can constantly update them. Man, this is incredibly up to date. Wow, 27 pages on Gwen Stefani alone. Amazing. Well, I think I've more than answered your encyclopedia grievances. No. 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 It was much more fun to complain about the old ones than to have new ones. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, I miss complaining <laughs> already, frankly. <laughs> I gotta check in on that planet down there, that down there, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Maximus. Oh, hi, Mike. Well, this whole Roman thing has taken a turn for the crappy. Flavia here discovered we weren't gods and all and had us thrown into this slimy dungeon. And they're being pretty rough on Pale Face here. They took away his brain, which sucks for him. I like fruit. Fruit is good. Talk here, suit one. Do you plot against our beloved emperor? Oh, please, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> and Bobo, man, they are totally torturing him right now. I mean, it's bad, Mike. You guys should probably write to Amnesty International House of Pancakes or whatever. Oh, I broke a nail. <laughs> Talk, smelly fag god. I'll say anything you want. Just give me some of that yummy mutton. Is it safe? I don't care if it's safe. It smells delicious. Give, give me Treason is fool. The emperor is about to give his violin recital upstairs, ma'am. Right, right. Listen, I must go, but I'll be back and... Uh, you three will be like so tortured, it's like not even funny. <laughs> so, Mike, here's the deal. If you help us out of this one, I promise I'll let you and your little wind-up toys go, and you'll never have to watch another lousy movie again. <gasps> yes, no more yes, crummy movies. Do it, Mike. do it, do it. Come do on, it, come on. Do it, do it. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know, Pearl. I mean, you've lied to us before. I know. But but it wasn't my fault in a way that I haven't quite figured out yet. But this time, for real. I mean, how are you going to get out of this stupid, stinky Roman time without us anyway? She's right, Mike. I don't want to have to see you in a toga. I don't know. Okay, what do you want me to do? I need you to come down here and get Brain Guy's brain for us. They put it too far out of range, so he's at quarter power, which means he's even more of an idiot than usual. Pearl, tell me about the rabbits again, please. And pathetic as it is, he's our only hope. So I'm going to have him bring you down here to fetch it. Okay, Brain Guy, send Mike down. Send Mike down. Okay. Go, oh, do, chew, chew. Ooh, I'm allergic. Not goose down, you dope. Bring Mike down. Oh, oh. Uh, Mike, everyone says you're ugly and dumb and no one likes you. <laughs> oh, come on, they do not. Really? Oh, man, that really? Oh, man, that really brought me down. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Listen, you empty-headed albino. I said bring Mike down here. Yeah, okay, nice lady. 
<laughs> oh, oh my, <laughs> what am I doing here? I was just at a 401k planning meeting. Oh, by the way, my name's Mike Down. I'm a CPA. No! Oh, thank you! This might take a minute, Mike. In the meantime, why don't you enjoy your final bad movie ever? I promise. It's a real piece of cheese called Space Mutiny. Hey, brain load, think you can manage sending a movie? Uh, okay. Should I set up my overhead projector now? You pipe down. Oh, oh, movie! Oh, movie. Oh, Carter likes me or something. Oh, Gypsy likes me, that's it. Amazingly idiotic productions. <laughs> A Jonathan Winters Billy Holiday production. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, right. We're good. in good hands. Okay. 20 exclusive hits by the original artists. It sounds like someone owns himself a DX7 keyboard, huh? Whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out! Oh. Ah. I have my doubts that this movie is starring anyone. <laughs> it's just the usual stable of David Winter's actors. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yay! Oh, no, wait. No, um, no. Oh, because she's Cameron Mitchell's, um, wait. His nickname is Tiny. Featuring music normally heard at the Days in Lounge in Columbia Heights. Passed from editor to editor in a desperate attempt to save it. <laughs> uh, there's going to be seven levels of hell in this movie, too. <laughs> Dad, big favor. Can you associate produce? Thanks. Hope, John, and Holiday DeCock? What kind of name is that? <laughs> and completely botched by David Winter. Outlets in space. Thirteen generations ago, wow. our overpopulated world built the southern sun. Did? A self-sufficient spaceship that would be home to thousands of migrants <laughs> with a ten light year journey to a new and uncolonized world. Cool, huh? Our current descendants have come to accept the southern sun as their home and work for a better future for their children. They're known as dupes. <laughs> While most of the inhabitants of this generation are content, mm -hmm. there are some who have grown restless and impatient. Like Pat Riley here, for instance. Where the hell did I put that old ping pong table? I have this feeling of being followed by a lobster boy. <laughs> Still, he's not nearly as creepy as most meter readers. Like an Armand de Santa Wanta bee. <laughs> I'll show you how to use a label maker properly. He made a bomb out of soap and Paco Rabanne. <laughs> Attention, prepare for shuttle Lancer landing. Melissa Manchester. Lancer to Southern Sun. Located rescue beacon and survivors. They are all female and identify themselves as Valerians. We have initiated landing procedures and are returning to base. I could watch this stuff all day, Mike. Oh, you will. You will enter the southern sun in figures five millennium, and your docking bay is one niner. Over. Yeah. Roger. Shuttle Lancer locked to guidance control. Over. Da 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 da. Lame. Bum mm -hmm. bum. Lame bum. Shuttlecraft determined to be cute, sir. <laughs> Shuttle landing successful. Valerian survivors disembarking. Attention, all hands. Attention. Shuttle landing complete. Prepare for incoming Stingray Viper Squadron. Red 2, Southern Sun in sight. Excuse me. Excuse me. Attention, all those wishing to meet the incoming Viper <laughs> Squadron, proceed to the docking bay. Leah! <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi. Not so pretty. If you're going down to the docking bay to meet your friend from Coriolis, you better hurry. Oi! The Viper's in final approach. <laughs> well, I came down to check that he's on the flight. Lieutenant Lamont. 
Contact the pilot of the Stingray Viper and ask if Professor Spooner is aboard. I'm insane! Thank you. Sun Control, I have a request. Do you have a Professor Spooner on board? Over. Stingray to Sun Control. Affirmative. Over. Sting, Over. Debbie Reynolds, and God. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, Scott. Bye. Southern Sun, we are starting our landing sequence. In the future, geese will be rocket-powered. Southern Sun, aboard landing. We have pirates coming up fast on our tail. Stingray 2 to Stingray 3, we are under fire. Prepare for defense formation. Roger, Stingray 2. Graphics by Kenner. <laughs> Stingray 1, assuming defense formation. We'll cover for you and the professor. What the hell is going on out there? <laughs> Look out, Red 3. Red 3 is down. I never liked Red 3 anyway. Damn it! <laughs> Da, 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 crap. Special effects by industrial light and morons. Good shot, Ryder. Are we the good guys or the bad guys? Attention all hands. Man your battle station. You are under attack. Uh-oh, an air show. Look out below. Hey, I told you we should have landed at LaGuardia. <laughs> Tell me about it. These briefs I'm wearing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so their spaceship has a huge basement. <laughs> Say. Commander Calgon, can I help you? Calgon? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you have a reservation? Commander, sir, what are you doing? A hostess will see you in a moment. Sir, <laughs> sir uh, we have a perfectly fine bar if you'd like to wait there. Oh, great. Yeah, shooting me is not going to get you to a table any faster, sir. <laughs> oh, I'll get the manager. Calgon, blow me away. <laughs> Does that guy inflate his pants to attract mates? <laughs> Good work, you blew up the septic tank. Oh no, I just tried to open my garage door. What the? Warning, system power lock. Two rights. Energize our emergency landing stroke. We're off, sir. It's dead, sir. Right, system failing. <laughs> Blast power! <laughs> Relax, you're in your own room. Blast power! Uh, is it a good idea for a pilot to eject in space? Collision imminent. Pilot emergency beam down. Ejection system activated. Attention all hands. Prepare for crash landing. So really, how does this help the Basque separatists? My stair stepper! <laughs> Attention. Pilot beam down successful. Medical team standby. Fire control to docking bay. <laughs> If the first 10 minutes are any indication, this movie's gonna blow! <laughs> My Buns of Steel videos are in there! <laughs> you have time! <laughs> Come on, mother! <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll take care of it. Remember Carl's blonde joke? <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Lieutenant? The Viper was locked into the sun's guidance control, Commander, and we lost power. Commander, the energizing turbines <laughs> have been sabotaged. Sabotaged? But what of the little children and their toys? John Waters! <laughs> Headquarter. Blake here. Give me Calgon. He's right here. Go ahead. Sir, I just saw something I thought you should know about. Some strange women came on board with the Lancer. Strange I'm sorry the information is so scanty, but I'll send you up more <laughs> as I get it. Blake out. Hey, look at this. The office newsletter says I look like Susan Powder. Santa's playing free cell over here. Oh man, what I do? What do you think, Davis? Should I spend 20 bucks for Griffey? <laughs> I think whoever did this knows his way around spaceships. I agree. I don't know if this helps, but ho, ho, ho. One thing's for sure, we've got to reduce speed drastically till we repair the damage. You know, I'm thinking more about the possible motive. Why? 
Commander? Ho. Oh. Oh. You get a computer readout on the damage in the docking bay. Also the pirate fleet's position and load the file into the computer. I'd like to do some research on our new female guest, the Valerians. Nude research. I want that ready as soon as possible. Aye, aye, sir. Thank you. So, uh, we got some Benedictine monks in the floorboards, unfortunately. <laughs> we have set some traps with fresh bread and brandy, though. <laughs> Ladies, this is your new home. I know it doesn't look like much, but if you'll bear with us, I'm sure we can make you quite comfortable. Leave. We Valerians wish to be alone. This place will serve our purpose. Leave. Oh, drink too much surge. <laughs> Bryce, you okay? <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure having you on board. I guess. Gentlemen. Oh, and uh, by the way, ladies, there's a ferret cage by the wall if you need it. Well, I polished the back corridor. Anyone else need their room done? <laughs> Hey, you guys, I got my dad's enforcer for the weekend. <laughs> oh, we have fun, huh? Uh, can you help me out of this thing? Our oh, timing was perfect. Two for the price of one. We had a coupon. <laughs> Who would have thought the one small spacecraft? Robbie Robertson. Could have done that much damage. That Viper's missile pod took out the entire winching system for the docking bay doors. <laughs> Man, you should have been there. <laughs> According to the damage reports from the chief maintenance engineer, it'll take at least two weeks before the docking bay could be used again. <laughs> I know. It's great. I couldn't have wished for it better. <laughs> that means the southern sun is completely isolated. <laughs> Nobody can enter her. And more important, nobody can leave her. <laughs> Excellent. They no longer have a choice. <laughs> God, you look good. Mm. It was cruel fate to be born in space. But I have vowed we will not die here. It is my destiny to set my feet upon a real world, to accumulate wealth and power beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> I have offered people of the southern sun a rich new life that's good and now they have no alternative but to accept my generosity and alter course <laughs> for corona borealis <laughs> don't you love it <laughs> you know we're always laughing you and me it's great lieutenant oi what's the report from damage control it's not complete yet captain but the first reports indicate that two of our lm 5000 exxon drive motors have been sabotaged oi this also affects the performance of one of our Vixen Pulse drive generators. Oi. Give me a computer readout on our whole stress factor. Sir. Reduce speed by two thirds. Shut down two of our booster engines. Yes, sir. Oh, one other thing. Oi. Can you establish video contact with the docking bay? Uh, one of the missiles from the Viper took out the video control tower down there. But we are trying to reestablish contact with the Sari video robot. Did you sign Sherry's birthday card? been in space too long. Let us land the ship. We can do it. We have the power. It's true. We have the power to do this. But this would directly oppose the law of the universe, the law of the galaxy. Forget the law. No, no. The law must be upheld. We cannot break it. No. Gentlemen, it seems that we are not all in agreement. I disagree. <laughs> Engineer Parson seems content to spend his remaining years upon the southern mm. sun. Yeah. And let him do so alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. This is mutiny. This is treason, which I warn you I must report. I just have to wet myself first. Will <laughs> you allow him to spoil no. your ambitions for a greater future? Not allow that. No. No. Easily led wise no. counsel. <laughs> What I meant was, I totally endorse what you're doing. I'll rip his band uniform, then he'll have to pay for it. Well, next they're going to give him books so they can dump him. Okay, right over here. Death by Snickersnag. <laughs> oh, oh. 
I'm gonna inflate him to 35 pounds. Okay then, moving on to number three on our agenda, Sherry's birthday party. Aren't there any other of you that wish to confuse freedom with treason? I'd like to confuse bok choy with cabbage, sir. <laughs> Report to the Enforcers Bridge. Let's go, Enforcers, hurry up. Well, it is the rare meeting where something actually got done. <laughs> You're strict, sir. You have done well. Alone at last. <laughs> This is Goldilocks Niner. I'm coming in, sucker. Prepare to die. Oh, yeah? Welcome. Get some. Oh, bro, Servo, what the hell, Michigan, is going on? I can't talk now, Mike. I'm locked in a death struggle with Servo. Yeah, me too, Mike. Only with Crow. Over. Cambot, give me rocket number nine, will ya? Eat death, Servo. Eat munchy, crunchy chocolate, eat cocoa death, Crow. Enjoy a nice serving of Brown Betty with Death, but, but, but mostly eat death. Bro, Servo, you guys be careful out there. Oh, uh, we won't. <laughs> oh, ah. oh, Servo, you just ripped a hole in my torso. Wee! Oh, ah, too late for me. <laughs> I took a laser blast to the dome. Wahoo! Fellas? Well, shall we auger these babies in? After you. I love you, Crow! I'm sort of fond of you, Servo! Bro? Servo, you, you guys okay? Fellas! Okay, now this isn't funny anymore. Whoa, hey, lighten up, Nelson. We're robots, remember? Man, that was great. Yeah. So where'd you get the spaceships? Oh, you mean the hyperwarp escape shuttles, which we just trashed? Yeah. Oh, yeah they've those. been down in the hold waiting for us to use them to escape and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, I see. So yeah. don't you think we maybe should have used them for escape purposes? Uh, what, what, what's he on about? It? Oh, you mean escape from here? Oh, jeez. Oh, How oh. stupid of us, Mike. Oh, man. Boy, is my face red. Oh, sorry, Mike. Oh, we had escape pods. We didn't use them. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Isn't there just one more? Oh, yeah. Gypsy's got it out. She'll be along any second now. We're oh. England and the Queen. All right. Go for it, Gyps. <laughs> we'll be right back. It's fine. Hi. Hi. Scott Devers. Dave Ryder. Ah, nice to meet you. Shall we do it? Okay. Oh, this is sudden. Lieutenant? Sir. Please file this. Certainly, sir. Thank you. Do you know where I could get some Zubas, man? Commander Jansen. Well, welcome aboard, Mr. Ryder. You've met our Captain Devers. Sit down, son. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ryder, could I have your space and status card, please? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry it's so moist. You've got mail. Well, there we have it. Any questions, Mr. Ryder? Sir, I'd like to see a video of the crash, if I may. Good idea. Come this way. I'll show you where my elves are working day and night. Take a chair. And ram it. <laughs> Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Could you punch up a video of the crash, please? Yes, sir. On our computer? Disaster analysis. Guidance system engaged. You are now Boy. on the Southern Sun's guidance oh. control system. Over. Pilot control released. Warning. Critical power loss. Mm -hmm. Now switch live to Spencer's Gifts. Hey, Macarena. Hey. <laughs> it's a Wicca Tupperware party. 
Steve called? My poultice. Oh, I've got this itch right on my leg there. Ah. Look familiar, my... Uh, what am I saying? No way. <laughs> hey. Damn Swedish ergonomic chairs. How do you sit comfortably on these... Ah. Uh, get a bunch of women together, it's either witchery or a wedding shower. That's what I say. Mother Angelica Aerobics. I heard that. Well, I better get the phone, you guys. <laughs> we received your message. I'm glad you've come. We've been waiting for you. Hey, you. The Valerians are off limits. You've never heard of the getting some clause? I was... Well, there we are, gentlemen. Tell me, Dave. Slab bulkhead. Your Viper was equipped with a new high-density deatomizer escape system, right? <laughs> yes, Commander. Right now, it only works over very short distances. But who knows what the future potential of it could be? What about the Professor? What's his max? Commander, I'm sorry about the Professor. But there's nothing I could have done. The system's only hooked up to the Viper pilots. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, son. It's not your fault you're a chunkhead. You're lucky you're alive. Like you saved yourself. I can't breathe. Uh, Leah, you had us all worried. Please, next time there's a fire, leave it to damage control. You okay? Okay. Next time, young lady, you stay out of the way. Dad, I was there. The pilot mm. chickened out. Otherwise, Spooner would be alive right now. David Ryder, I want you to meet my daughter, Leah. We're about the same age. Professor never had a chance. There's nothing I could have done to prevent it. Oh, so you left him to die off. Leah! Stop it! He ejected and he's alive! Listen, lady! Doctor! Doctor! Doctor lady! I don't have to justify my actions to you, but since you're asking, that explosion cut the power, and there wasn't time to go over the auxiliary backup system. <laughs> I had to eject. I had no other choice. That's doctor, I had no other choice. Commander, Captain, excuse me, I have to file my report. Coach will totally ream me if I don't file my report. Leah. You're getting a lump of coal. <laughs> I like playing with the knobs. <laughs> All you can eat me tonight. Excuse me, sir. I think you'll find this interesting. Yes, what is it? It's an inventory of all the explosives under our control. Hmm? Hey, one of the new monkeys. Oh, gopher, are you lost? <laughs> He's calling to check on his gender. Uh, give me an audio-video <laughs> link of Bridge to Console 7. Please hurry. There's something coming through on the voice monitor from the engine room area. Wow. Put it through on five. The electrolysis is working. Those Formica monitors don't have a lot of resolution. <laughs> My name is Flight Lieutenant Lamont. <laughs> Well, according to my printout from the supply store's inventory, we're definitely short on conventional ballistic explosive. I mean, I've double-checked. Somebody with direct online access to the central has been transferring a large amount of explosive and then simply covering the requisition. I wouldn't have found out about it unless central asked me to confirm acceptance of 100 units of chemoplastic and atomic compound. I mean, that's crazy. Can you imagine that amount of explosive lying around in the ship's engine room? Come on, Skull, anyway, pop out of my skin. I think I've traced it. Who in the hell is he talking to? Put it through to the bridge. I want to speak to somebody from command, please. That, excuse me, Al Lewis. Okay. For the sake of security, I think it would be better if you came up here and asked for me. Lieutenant Lamont. Send a couple of men over there to stop that engineer before he gets to the bridge. Unless I get to him first. Uh, time me. Go ahead. Well, well, I think I just have to report this. I mean, I really thought about it, and I think I really have to report this. I, I really, really have to report it. Herbie, the misfit elf. It's like Billie Jean King. Oh no, snowmobilers! I've seen this before. Compulsory splat ball. You know, if we pretend we know what's going on, this is actually kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's above the stage, and now he's gonna fall right in at the end of the opera. Doesn't this basement make the spaceship kind of bottom heavy? <laughs> See, I can throw my laugh. <laughs> 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 
Come on, give me your bio notes or I'll get a D. Come on, man. <laughs> Third engineer Steve Cadell. Known as Stinky to his friends. You have two choices. Soup or muffin. Join me or the deep freeze. <laughs> I prefer to jump, Calgon. And by the way, Calgon, we need more of you. I guessed. No, the death of Rick Springfield. Ah! I just wish I had Jesse's gal! <laughs> oh, he had a mouthful of Starburst. <laughs> Well, then they TP'd him. Nice. They have the best mini golf in the galaxy. What are those? Is she raising recycling bins? Hi. Right. Can I get a spot? Got a nice place here. Yeah, bite my nice place. Listen, uh, I understand how you feel. It's doctor, listen, uh, I understand how you feel. You? How could you know how I feel? Listen, lady, I did what I had to do. Don't you think I realized a good man died? A man I respected and loved? Hey, I don't need this. Wait. Did they miss a couple of lines here? <laughs> I wasn't aware that you knew him. Well, what difference does it make? Hmm? He's dead, and there's nothing we can do about it. Now married to an entertainment lawyer in Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Forget it. I don't need this. <laughs> this is like when I plateaued on my delts, man. She's a sexy senior citizen. Ooh. Shake it, Ralph Macchio. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I bet you were really into the Thompson twins, right? Huh? You were wang chunging all over the place, yeah, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you know, I hate it when the chaperones start dancing with the kids. <laughs> So in the future, there's absolutely no shame. Oh, my pantyhose are itchy. Pantyhose are itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Oh, 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 itchy. Oh. <laughs> Man, Sherry Lewis has got it going on. Oh, mama. Or grandmama, I guess. Oh. No, without metric hell, this would not be possible. <laughs> Man. I'd rather get a table dance from Trent Lott. <laughs> what is she thinking? I'm a weightlifter. Come on. <laughs> this is less subtle than an Annie Sprinkle performance piece. Oh, she's presenting like a mandrill. No. <laughs> Two for one techno drinks. Cool. <laughs> Did you see my butt? I don't need this. Is a woman allowed to buy a man drink in your galaxy? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Kind of depends upon the man now, doesn't it? <laughs> On what? I don't know. Whether or not he wants to accept it. Wow, it's like Nick and Nora Charles. I see. You're still angry. Checking the... Yeah, <laughs> but I'll get over it. You know, the professor taught me everything I know. It took him 20 seconds. Can we start again? Yeah, why not? I made a mess of it the first time. Dave Ryder. Leah Jansen. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. You like it here? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Bennigan's, 1985. I should show my butt to that guy. That's odd. What's that? I know that woman over there. She works on the bridge. She's got an awesome package. I never noticed that before. <laughs> She's being ushered wow. out. Is there any reason for it? I don't know. Looks like she's been arrested. She's walking with two Mexican wrestlers. <laughs> Let's go check it out. It's gotta be better than this. The dancing has gotten even whiter. She's got an armadillo down her trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Flight Lieutenant Lamont? Yes. Did you sign Sherry's card? Thank you, gentlemen. You were speaking with third engineer Steve Cadell. That is my business. But now I'm making it mine. I don't know. I've always liked the vanilla sport shakes better. It's just me. Tell my wife I love her. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I pass out when I do a military after a bench. <laughs> there they go. Hervé Village has his death car. Let's take this. Fridge, large meat. Punt, speed chunk. Butch, deadlift. <laughs> 
is you can walk on your hands and catch up to the guy. Put your helmet on. We'll be reaching speeds of three. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the siren. Go. Let's see what this lark can do. We need both horsepowers on this thing. They just hit a poodle? <laughs> you can't go any faster. I'd have to drop the waxing compound. <laughs> Put the top up! Put the top up! <laughs> da do 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 da 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 is all I want to say to you. Hey! Hey, she's Wait. dead! Wait a minute! <laughs> she died! Wow! So? I think it's very nice of you to give that dead woman another chance. As you report, sir. Thank you, Devers. D in comportment? Do you really believe, sir, that this act of sabotage has got something to do with our navigational course? Yeah, I'm convinced. Yeah. This proves it. I think they want to drive us into the neighboring constellation. Alpha. Oh, I love that font. The constellation of the Corona Borealis. Higher <laughs> territory. Precisely. So we have to find out who's behind this. Any ideas, Commander? Yes. You know, Captain. I have a whole colony of people living in my beard. It's always very dangerous to speculate. Yes, sir. So it would have to be somebody on this ship. Brilliant! Gained by this. Stand to gain. That leaves us with what? Exactly squat, sir. The flight master. The enforcer. Waitress! Wait, uh, she never sees me. I just... <laughs> it's very perilous for everyone on board. Huh? We do not make wild accusations. So we keep this top classified secret. Top super duper maxi extreme ultra secret. Commander? Yes. Check it. Okay, look alive, everybody. Oh, sorry, Susan. That's right. She's You're... dead. She's just... dead. Get Bold. off the Stairmaster! Bold, big flank. Splint, chest hair. It's Kavarkian. Yes? Can I help you? Yes, you can. We're looking for the Enforcer's headquarters. There we are. It really is awfully... Lonely here. Can I show you around? I was just about to do the monster mash. <laughs> let's see, what I forget to hide before they came in here? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, this looks interesting. <laughs> here at the underpants testing ground. Sorry. Whoa, these guys died, lost all their muscle mass, man. What? Would you care for a spot of tea? Because doing so would be very ironic. Well, uh, we're in a bit of a hurry. So we'll take it to go. What are all these bodies for? A personal collection. Collection? Yes. When anyone is under suspicion, mm -hmm. they're immediately arrested, tortured, and given the truth drug. Mm -hmm. When Carlgan is convinced they're of no longer use, mm -hmm. he simply has them ejected mm -hmm. into space. Boom, 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 boom. However, if they seem redeemable, Calvin freezes them. Oh, do they keep well? That means all the enforcers are corrupt. And Calvin's running his own personal army here. That's correct. How many enforcers does Calgon kill? To date, 38. So Calgon's control of the enforcers is complete. Mm -hmm. And Indian enforcers that resisted him are dead. All present. How many enforcers are there? Just over 200. Oh, here comes Lord of the Dance. The deep freeze. Oh, we're going to the deep freeze, I must say. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Do call again. I'm late for Roddy McDowell practice. With the population and the crew of the southern sun being so large, surely we can do It'll something. It'll be a bloodbath. Well, if they've broken intergalactic law, that's a mutiny. We can call for help. Cannot we? It's my guess that Calgon has already installed scramblers in a communications computer. Oh, hey, Mike. Uh, I'm a Balerian. Sure looks that way, doesn't it? Yep. 
Yeah, I just found out, and, and you know, it's weird. It explains so much about me, about who I am, uh, where I came from, what motivates me and such. Well, sure, I mean, you're a Valerian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, why, don't I look like one, or? No, you, sure, you do, yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, I've got to be a Valerian, otherwise I, I wouldn't be dressed like this. Gosh, am I a Valerian? Yeah, 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 I, I have to be, yep, yep, I am a Valerian. Oh, hell, am I? I... No, 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 no. I am a Balerian. I am. Mm -hmm. Guard! Guard! Sick man! We need more moisturizer! Hey, lawgiver! I may have a way for us to get out of here! What? How? Well, it just so happens that a clever young ape named Bobo just might be able to regurgitate up a key that'll undo these locks. <laughs> Bobo, that's remarkable. You lifted a key off a guard and you've smuggled it in your stomach? Oh, uh, well, no. Actually, the fact of the matter is that I've swallowed so darn many things over the years, there must be a key down there somewhere that'll work. Oh, <laughs> do I want to get free that badly? <laughs> ah, Carl, where'd that come from? Oh, that's right. I swallowed a bunch of that blue stuff at the barber's, and I got a couple of those in there. What you just... I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, a Zippo. What do you know? Wait, wait. A hairpin. He swallowed a woman. He swallowed a woman. I did not brain guy. I swallowed a wig. Oh, let me just see if I can undo this lock here. Yes, yes, I'm free. Oh, great, Bobo, great, great. Okay, Bobo, listen very carefully. Yes. Go get Observer's Brain and bring it back here. We'll be out of here in no time. Leave it to Mr. Stealth. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, I like lettuce. Shut up. Okay. Bobo, where's Observer's Brain? Oh, please, what you would you with? just give me a little bit of credit? I mean, for crying out loud, I have screwed up so many things in the past. I'd just like an opportunity to redeem myself and... Oh. Oh. I was supposed to get Observer's Brain, wasn't I? And now you're probably mad at me, aren't you? And I suppose you want me to hit myself now, don't you? Oh, oh, get, get, oh, my hands up here. Get, oh, good angle on it. Oh, oh. Uh, could I regurgitate up anything to make it up for you? Well, I'll take some lettuce if you have any lettuce. Uh... Yeah, coming up. <coughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ask me if I'm a Balerian. Point blank. Uh, uh, are you a Balerian? No. Do damn, I'm not. <laughs> what am I then? I, am I just some kind of a gauzy fruitcake? Am I just some kind of a gullible freak who, who allows the core of his own being to be blown to the four winds? I mean, well, I guess so then. You know, well, that's what I am then, a gullible freak. Good, good. Huh. The, the, wait, wait, what am I again? I, uh, oh, we, we got movie oh, side figured out side. later! Look good as a Balerian. Oh, you do. It's just. Uh... Oh. You know, Mike, take away all the muscle mass on this rider guy. It's pretty much you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they shouldn't have set their phasers to miss. Oh, railing kill. No, really, take away his personality and the fact that women are attracted <laughs> to him, and, and it's you. Th thank you. That's, that's fine for me. He killed Mitch Gaylord! Flint, Iron Stag. Bolt, Vander Huge. Whee! <laughs> this is exciting as exciting can be, I must say. Got panty creep. <laughs> oh no, the methane! How are they gonna fill their cows? Thick, McRun fast. Oh. Uh. I get it. They're headed for the bridge. My skull's almost out now. <laughs> get back. Let's go. Whoa! You stay with me, Trent. <laughs> Welcome, Commander Jensen. How may I help you? Open file on... Blitzen. Valerian behavior. Valerian behavior. Order of high priestesses. Valerians. <laughs> Non-planet-based practitioners of magic. See these balls? Magic, huh? 
Mosquito, got it. <laughs> the Stevie Nicks workout. Amanda. Have you signed Sherry's card? It is now time for us to talk. You? Yes. I am Genera, the 14th High Priestess of the Tripton lineage. Uh, the people well. of the Southern Sun are no longer able to distinguish light from dark. Mm. Your people are falling prey to the powers of darkness. <laughs> Listen, I speak the truth. Actually, she thinks the truth very loudly. Ho, ho, ho. Finally, Christmas comes to Santa. Um, Mrs. Kringle and I have an understanding. Uh, it's basically over between us. <laughs> Wanna see me shake like a bowl full of jelly? Ho, 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 ho. Someone did leave a cookie out for me. <laughs> I am a right jolly old elf. What happened? I have shared with you the way to truth. Now you must use what you have learned. Face Calgan and his evil. I will. Let me just check you twice here. <laughs> My father and his father before him... Also taped wool to their faces. ...reasonable men. I myself have tried to follow in their footsteps. Mm -hmm. I'm a man who believes in peace, not war. Captain Devers and I have decided, David... You're fired. If you will accept, we would like to name you as our new... Flight commander. I mean, attendant. And we trust and pray you will maintain this as a ship of peace. Rockin'. And we will in due course let all the people know and warn them of Calgan and his men. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> well, David, good luck. We put our faith in blast hard cheese. I'm gonna go let the Balarians play under my robe. <laughs> oh. Ah. Hey, Sherry's birthday party, finally! She's nude! Well, she's fully nude. Ah, Lieutenant Waitress. Yep, yep, she's a graduate of MIT, but she still has to serve drinks to men. Okay, that's two bull shots and a pink squirrel here. Well, David, cheers. Buff drink lots. <laughs> it's real fruit flavor. It's a great honor serving you and your ship, the Southern Sun. Here's to you, David. And happiness. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Woohoo! We got ISO 9001 certified. <laughs> Commander, where's Leah? Take that back! Leah. Oh, Leah. My grandma daughter. David, I think you'll find her in her usual place. Hiding from you. The greenhouse. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna have so much sex with your daughter. Well, Captain, can you remember when you were that young? I am that young. <laughs> be damned if I can. <laughs> oh, slab. Oh, oh, hunk. Oh, flink. Why do you need that guy over there to spot you? Mm. Mm, thanks. This is really good for my abs. She dusted herself with super weight gain powder to attract him. <laughs> N no. Ick, no, wrong. No, nothing, nothing. Stop, what, now what is that? Cut it out. Claude, no. Not there, no. Look, just get off me. Hey, you wanna wrap it up, Chunky? There's a tour coming through. Super intelligent dandelion seeds. <laughs> They'll worship anything. Okay, practice your dog paddle, ladies. I can't get this water out of my ear. Oh, I hate food. It's my people. Uh, can I borrow a cup of sex? <laughs> Man, she makes Shelly Duval look like Shirley Hempel. <laughs> Come on, it'll be all right. You stupid food lovers. Pantene Pro V. Glenda Jackson is Kate Moss as Isadora Duncan. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Jimmy come over. Da da 
but uh, all right. <laughs> Why didn't you call me the second they deserted their post? Wow. The minute man. they didn't respond, I came to you. I didn't know what else to do. What happened? They rocked us like a hurricane, what? sir. What happened? Happened. Some happened. Nothing happened. We just talked and looked at glowing balls. Calgan warned us about these women. Knock it off, Colton. Grab these idiots, take them down to refrigeration, and put them on ice. Uh, but we're all idiots, sir. Heads are gonna roll when Calgon finds out about this. Uh, but we were just working on some night moves, sir. Not a blaring anymore. Yeah. See that. Come on, Metamutual, work your magic. Is this the man? Why, no, sir, you the man. <laughs> Soften him up. So Lance Kerwin is their thug. <laughs> what are you doing? By softening him and moisturize him. <laughs> He's an artist with a fist. <laughs> Quiet, Mitch Miller's on. No, no more. <laughs> okay, a little more then. I don't like people who make mistakes. We're going to put you on ice for a while. <laughs> on vanilla ice. Wait. I want to know what's going on. What's happening with my men? Blake. What's the matter, Ranger? Afraid you're losing control? Yes. I'm losing control over my men and over what I'm responsible for. Don't be so naive. You want off this ship as much as anybody. That may be true, but I'm not willing to sacrifice the lives of... Look. It's over, Tad. Calgon's got his plan. We're getting off this ship with the help of the pirates, and there's nothing you, nor I, nor anybody else can do about it. Bitch. This is the Alfeca Pirate Fleet. To those on board the Southern Sun, listen carefully. Good morning. You have entered the Alpha Delta Restricted Zone. We have claim on this section of space. Surrender immediately or be blown yeah. into astro dust. Shot of a previous explosion. Red alert. Red alert. We are under fire. We are under fire. Okay, gotta go, Gary. Target base ships in range. Prepare to fire missile. Fire nipples? That's what he said. Death, death, death. Fire two. The honeymooners. Pirate ship terminated. Return to post. God, I love Pac-Man. You all on board? Congratulations. <laughs> we have successfully defended the, the southern sun again. against the latest pirate attack. They're having the same party. But we must now focus on internal problems. The White Commodores. Hey, have your attention, please. The officers of the watch, please form three groups. The first group is going to be responsible for making weapons. Making whoppets? The second group is going to act as soldiers. Uh, sir, we were on break. The third group is responsible for getting food and supplies. Uh, I suggest we close off all entries and exits to the engine room. We're going to hold out here and never let them take over the southern sun. Let's get out there and kick some ass! <laughs> Trunk slam chest, fist rock bone, stump beef knob, smash lamp jaw. So you usually see Denise to do your hair, huh? I'd like some mixed flowers for my eunuch. <laughs> Lovely spot, isn't it? What are you doing here? You're much more attractive with your mouth shut. <laughs> Bring her to my headquarters at once and get her some pants. <laughs> Oh, she's really struggling, I must say. She's going mental on us, but then again, she isn't. <laughs> Don't touch my chin tuck, it's new. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I thought it was funny anyway. Jason, go get Leah. I want her on the bridge immediately. It's Lieutenant Commander Jason. Jason. Commander, message coming through on channel 16. <laughs> What do you got for me, Rick Astley? Jansen, I have something to show you. I've got your mother. <laughs> oh, no. You have 12 hours to surrender the bridge. Otherwise, your daughter will be jettisoned into space. Well, no downside. Well, Captain, Calgan lives like that, sir. He lives by the sword. I thought he lived by the galley. It's evil. <laughs> Ruthless. There are many people on board this ship, sir. Boy. We have to fight back. It's truth. So we both know that there's only one man on the ship who's capable of combat. Too right. Who's had the training physically and mentally. All right. 
Fetch me my warrior, Moo Moo. <laughs> we will prepare for battle. The crowd stands and applauds as she's helped off the movie. You animals, how can I do ab crunches in this? Let me introduce you to the high-intensity probing laser. I do have one weakness. Pain. And French silk pie. Other people's. Now, I'm going to use this laser on one of your teeth. It works not unlike ancient dental equipment. Not that you'd know anything about that. You're too stupid to learn about dental history. <laughs> How dare you insult my knowledge of ancient dentistry? Now, how about your father's contingency plans? <laughs> Can't believe it, there's a sale on power bars. Things never go on sale, man. Huh. Sounds like you're knocking, Tom. You might need some premium gas. They <laughs> really need the masks? <laughs> Punch rock groin. <laughs> oh, really kill, kill. All right. <laughs> Must be a very elderly woman with a flu under that costume. Buck plank chest. Stump chunkman. Dirk hard peck. Rip steak face. Slate slab rock. Crud bone meal. <laughs> what a shame to burn out these lovely teeth. I want those countermeasures. Brick hard meat. <laughs> So, he fits into a suit that was restrictive on a really small man? I'm wondering. <laughs> what was that sound? Was that you, sir? No, mine are quiet. Mm. Ah, it's the laser that whirs like a drill. Just keep smiling. Don't let it know it follows you. I don't feel a thing. I'm an emotionally stunted man. <laughs> I had a prophylaxis scheduled. Uh, um, can you sign a check so I can go to office, Max? <coughs> Turn it off. Does his entrance warrant a dun da 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 dun dun? <laughs> nope. I uh, see you got the girl. I had to let them know we meant business. Girl. I'd better get back to the engine room before they miss me. Oh, I'll take you. Why did he wander out of the engine room in the first place? Jeez! Damn AOL. Jeez. Wall mounted keyboards. It must be the future! <laughs> I'm Murray. Is Joseph here? Murray. Yo, pal! Yeah, listen, my monitor's gone off again. I'll schedule you for next week. Well, can't you fix it any sooner? Go back up already. <laughs> Okay, whenever you can. Anything for you, buddy. Yeah, okay, take it easy. <laughs> the computer problems of Murray and Joe make for gripping cinema. <laughs> I saw a ghost. Whip slag cheek. Punch side iron. Gristle McThorn body. Hey, you. Come here. Do you mean me or my familiar over there? <laughs> Yes, a man born without a brain stem. You know, the last eight times this happened, the woman just wanted to get away. You had a little popcorn on your lip. It was bothering me. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is just like the time I got lost at Bally's. <laughs> Wandered onto the tennis courts, couldn't get out. Standing right under a toilet outlet there. Slake fist crunch. Buff hardback. Bob Johnson. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> You're lucky the smart guard is on vacation this week. Morgan Fairchild and Phil Collins. No. I see a sunken chest. Oh, please, my breasts are very sensitive. Oh, yeah. Is the rest of the equipment as good as that? Let's have a look. What's he doing, Mike? Yeah. Wait. I don't. I don't I'll think he does. Trade. Oh. First, your trousers. Just, just this and part. then you can see everything. This is supposed to be an epicag, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, that's the cast of the Poseidon Adventure coming the other way. 
Jeez, oh, the guy's just coming down to scoop out the cat box. Look, I'm sorry, whoever you are. I was just getting really frustrated. <laughs> no! Oh, no! No! I don't. Okay. That's all I got. My shoe. 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 Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, that was totally out of left field. <laughs> Blast, thick neck. Crunch, butt steak. Slam, squat thrust. Oh, you lovable trollop. <laughs> what took you so long? I've been busy too. Let's get this <laughs> Oh, so it's going to be a three way. Okay, that's fine, guys. Rawhide. Rawhide. Come on, I found this place that makes these really healthy shakes. Oh, 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 come on, move. I'm moving, bossy boots. Come on, move, 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 move. You see how it feels? Move. Lump, beef broth. Move, 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 move. No, you move. No, you move, move. No, you move. Okay, now move, move. Move one leg, then move the other. Now breathe, breathe. Now make your heart beat. Come on. You can see right up their jumpsuits. <laughs> Did you sign Sherry's belated birthday card? Move, move. No, don't. <laughs> hmm? How y'all doing? <laughs> Ow, my mask. You put this on. Okay. But, but I just moved my hair. These will make it so we can't see anything. <laughs> All right, let's move. <laughs> the boiler room has a receptionist? <laughs> All right, let's go. And have concluded that the boilers have not moved for some time. Hey, you guys, let's see some ID. Oh, not, not technically a rallying, but the same spirit. Sure, here. sure. <laughs> oh, why do you hate my groin so much? <laughs> I don't, Mike. No. All right, let's move. Uh, I mean, move, <laughs> move, move! Stupid freshman. Have you located the girl? I'll poke my skull out at you. Answer me! <sighs> I'm surrounded by incompetence. I'm being undermined by my own disciples. <laughs> Let that space bitch slip through our fingers. She was our... What do you call that? Where's that idiot who let her escape? You've got him on ice, sir. Kill him at once. Yes, sir. And then tell McPherson our plan is operational. Put the entire squad on red alert. They woke up the Oak Ridge boys. Elvira, give me a bone. Hey, that's a nice one. Hmm, right hey, on. Oh, 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 careful there, Mike. Another one of those things. <laughs> sir, well, do you know anything about this? Oh, well, yeah. I just installed a bunch of new safety railings on this ship. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? But Why? What happens when OSHA stops by and sees everything completely unrailing, huh? Big fat fines, that's what. But more importantly, Mike, we've got to want to do it for ourselves. Well, you just can't put railings up randomly. I mean, yeah. there was a railing in front of the door to my room. Uh -huh. the, the, there was a ankle-high railing around the rugs, and, yeah. and there was a railing around the leftover hash browns. I mean, ow! Oh, I better ow. put a railing around that railing there. <laughs> oh, ow. Ah, Crow just found the whisper quiet high-speed spinning spike railing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> ow. All right, sir, but you've got one hour to get rid of every railing on the ship, okay? What? One hour, what? I mean it, oh, all right? For crying out loud. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, Mike, I uh, forgot to tell you that I had some moats put in because it's pretty hard to justify having this many railings without at least having some big heights to have railings in front of. <laughs> know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hello. Servo, there's a railing around my seat. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm okay, too. Hey, how about some sugar for Sting and Dolph here? Commander, we have a problem. I'm out of megafuel. Yes, David. 
McPherson's a traitor. Yes, I saw him with Calgon at the Enforcer's headquarters. I can't believe it. I mean, it could be... Dad, I saw him there today. Today? That being the case, this is serious. He knows our codes, he has our weapons. Weapons? And he knows all our countermeasures. I find this unbelievable. I wake up, Grant. He's one of my best men. He's my chief engineer. Commander, if I may say so. You need to cut some weight. Let me do my job. I'm coming with you. I'm coming too. No, I'm not. Captain, I'd rather do it alone. As you please, Dave. But thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Lee, you stay here. Commander. There goes a big, brave brick of meat. <laughs> New squid in the globe. This is really hard music to dance to, Cindy. Lorraine Newman and the Newmanettes. <laughs> One cannot escape one's own destiny. But one can delay it indefinitely and have a beer. <laughs> we're going in. I clogged up the toilet, but we're going in. Oh, now they stole the Enterprise's red alert sound thingy. Well, 86 the pants here, Tuna, you guys. Chef says we're all out. Oh, I'm gonna miss this old wherever we are. Don't get smart with me, Sealing. Touch rust rod. Reef blast body. Coach has us doing wind sprints. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like Kitaro fell asleep on his keyboard. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Big, McLarge, huge. <laughs> So where the hell are these two in relationship to each other? I don't... Sneaky little... Stop right there! Would you like to sample some canoe? We're being attacked from above! Commander Ryder, we're being attacked from above! The enforcers are... Hold on, let me come down and tell you. Right there. Oh, jeez, cut out, you guys. Here's a little free advice for the mutineers. Just stop and aim, you idiots! Why is he so impossible to hit? Why do they keep on missing the slow, giant, white thing? <laughs> Going below! Move! Cut him off! Hustle! Out well, loading up some railing fodder here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, my flamethrower's kind of weak here. It's... You know, in this movie, people don't seem to trust other people's ability to move forward. Yeah. A horse, my kingdom for a horse. <laughs> oh, someone get me a Zantac, quick! Oh, send my mask to mother. Oh. Stay together, cheeks. Stay together, cheeks. Well, they rented a pneumatic catapult, and damn it, they're going to use it. So many good lives wasted. Not these guys' lives, but... War always brings out the worst in man. I don't know. I feel that I failed. You did, Daddy. Don't blame yourself. It had to happen. There was no compromise. Oh, that scene really makes me stop and think about how much better a root canal would be than this movie. I think they just borrowed the South High marching band uniforms. So this takes place at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, or...? No, they're having a craft fair. Uh. Giant toilet seat hanging there. Yeah, handicapped accessible, I don't think so. Please don't use those stairs. <laughs> Uh, please don't shoot us. Okay, then you don't get a box lunch then. <laughs> you know, it has to be noted that Captain Santa Claus really is failing Absolutely. here. Absolutely. <laughs> See, I'm handy capable. Huh? The railing contributed to his death there. Yeah, that's a railing, railing death. Seems railing true. death. Smoke, man muscle. <laughs> See, if I hadn't lifted so much, those rays would hurt me. Ooh, 
he needs a giant tux. Out of my way, idiot! Stupid Buddhist monk, the Vietnam War's been over for hundreds of years. <laughs> if there's one thing this movie does well, it's tossing Canadians around. <laughs> Wait, Canadians? Oh, come man? on, Mike, this movie's ripe with the stench of back bacon. Please. <laughs> you say so. Wow, I am on the edge of my seat. I should probably scoot back a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, you got a lot more room there if you movie. just go back. Mm -hmm. I still support the wheeling system! Hey, Don, can I work in here? <laughs> Wahoo! Wee-hee! <laughs> I'll loosen up the paint, we can scrape later! suddenly have golf ball sized throat nodes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, launch the groin. Oh, launch the groin. Seems to me that randomly blowing up things is not a good strategy in a spaceship. <laughs> Fire! Don't waste the time, you'll never get through there! I must say. You'll get dead! It's over! Let's get out of here! We're being totally defeated, I must say. Beat punch beef. <laughs> I'm leaving. Leah. You want to get me some coffee? Leah. Get me some coffee. Leah, come back. <laughs> Forget it, Debbie. My name's not Debbie. You can't stop love. He must have blown out his knee in an earlier mutiny. <laughs> Oh, this is new. Wonder if it's too late to unmutiny. Now that is exciting, Mike. That guy just fell over a railing as he died. Now tell me that isn't a good movie after seeing something okay. like this. Take it easy. Take Feel good. <laughs> Hack blow fist. Oh, watch it, man. Oh, is he all right? Or... <laughs> um, uh? Leah! McPherson! That's a really good strut suspension! Spider skank! Spider skank! <laughs> Who took my purse? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Man, I shouldn't have ridden my recumbent bike to work. Ah. Ah, into a nice sits bath. Ah. He's gone into the gas explosion sump. Ryder! It doesn't have to be this way! I love you! Think about it! We can work this thing out! We'll get couples counseling! I didn't have anything to do with this! Sorry, loose valve here. What were you saying? What are you doing, man? What's that smell? What are you doing? Man, Chunkhead just beefed. I got the gas grill going. You guys want burgers? Ah! And our brave hero roasts the disabled man. Well, I have learned one thing from this movie, Mike. Not to sit in our gas expulsion ah! sump. We, you know, we gotta stop having lunch there. Indeed. That's a good point. You should have stayed up on the bridge safe with your father. Hey, guys. The enforcers are not going to attack again. Let me see. Just yeah, how the hell do you know that? Well, if you'd oh, shut man. up, I'd wow. tell nice you. Impressive. Cowgun's dead. Good. They have no trade. leader. They have no choice but to surrender to my father. Hey, guys. Just drop the reports off. Besides, <laughs> I thought you would be happy to see me. Of course I am. But that's not the issue. Your father should have stopped you. My father stopped <laughs> interfering with my life when I was 15 years old. Hey, again, guys. Just forgot respect something. respect for your father. He's a good man. I just wish he could control you as well as he does this ship. You mean have a mutiny on me, or...? Control me? If I hadn't saved you in that engine room... Oh, come on. I would have got out of that situation. No problem. <laughs> well, that's gratitude. Gratitude? Stop throwing your $10 words around. Why did you do it? Because... Oh, never mind. Oh, you really are stubborn. Does that mean I'm cut? That means, 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 nothing at all. All, all, <laughs> ba, 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 boom, boom. Now 
It is time for Cal Ann. Recommended by top readers. It's gearing up for a really intense video game. <laughs> Oh man, why is this seat so far forward? Who was driving this thing last? Well, someone dropped a jar of Hellman's in aisle seven. I gotta go clean it up. Evil, 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 pop, 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 evil, evil. Push on, mighty Cushman! Huh, <laughs> these things were a riot! Oh, didn't see you. My fault. Totally my fault. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fine. Damn, I'm losing speed because I'm also trying to buff the floors. Yep, oh, sorry. You cut me off by the boiler. It just ticked me off. You know, in their silliest moments, the Three Stooges never reach this level of indignity. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have compared the scene to the climactic chariot scene in Ben-Hur. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, they usually say, Ben-Hur was really good. This movie totally sucks. Yeah, right. follows. Right. You wish you'd never come here, Ryder. <laughs> Way of help, Calgon's chasing me. Active Senior's Lifestyle says thumbs up. It will make your heart race, though maybe that's not such a good thing. Any second, Leia's gonna jump on her big wheel and give chase. I get you, you bastard! <laughs> Meddling fool! <laughs> <laughs> what is he, Snidely Whiplash? <laughs> you know, you can actually get another three miles an hour in these babies if you take it off the shag setting. A cursed mountain bank! <laughs> Get out of the way! Did he use a wire bottle brush inside his throat before he filmed this scene? Taro, Taro! These things are made by Taro! <laughs> Still, it's better than Days of Thunder. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean... Leia, look out! Oh, this is a riot! <laughs> Take this, you big bitch! That's for not knowing anything about ancient dentistry. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, I forgot to step in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, got that out of my system. <laughs> Roll fizzle beef. <laughs> Like. Wow, big explosion for a tiny electric car. Yeah, he huh? shouldn't have been carrying that case of cleaning fluid and nitroglycerin and gel ignite in there. A plus, he microwaved an egg at the same time. Mm -hmm. Finally got some time to lift. Leah, Leah, you okay? Come on, move, 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 move! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened? Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Calvin's gone forever. I I'm guessing. It's finished. <laughs> ow! Ow! Oh, boy. Thank God. Yeah. Thank my personal trainer. Let's get out of here. Now, come on. Move, 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 move! Not since the Fuzzy Zeller Lee Trevino collision of 1974 has there been such a horrible golf cart accident. Yeah, I wish we had some marshmallows, you know? We could stuff them in our eyes and ears and never have to see or hear this stupid movie. Leia, this could be the start of a beautiful alternate day bulk up routine. Attention, Commander Ryder. Stingray patrol ready for takeoff. <laughs> Won't you miss your flight? Does that mean you won't marry me? Mm, huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> I think you skipped a line, honey. <laughs> Ugh, there we go. We've got a little bit of a workout in at last. Yeah, hey, there's a little draft over there. Let's make out over here. They married and had a healthy eight and a half pound pork roast. Oh, right. Yeah, I think Chunkhead's more of a shuttlecraft, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Good, good. Back to the rusting septic system of this futuristic spaceship. Well, I hope they spend the last few minutes on the apology. I heard there's a tacked on bit of film featuring the Attorney General explaining how you can join in a class action suit against this movie. <laughs> there is. Well. Right. Uh, Okay, it pans over and yeah, Calgon yeah, wakes up. And there's Calgon with his hands. Okay, 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 we're all really surprised because, wow, we already saw Calgon go with him, et cetera, et cetera. Can we just move it along now, out, people? Is he waiting for his pants to come out of the dryer? I don't know what to tell you. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I'm too sore. Cajun, pan blackened Calgon. And his eyes open. And his eyes open. His eyes open. Eyes open. His eyes open. Come on. I'm sitting in something wet. Me, take me away. We don't need more Calgon. Boo. Boo. Boy, you know, a retarded jellyfish could make a better movie than this. Whew. A severely impaired box turtle with a very busy schedule. Just give him a camera for a day. Mm -hmm. He'd come up with something better than this. Music rejected by the band's survivor. Hey. Uh-huh. Hold on here. He knows enough. <laughs> Me too. I feel like that sometimes too. Yeah. Uh, the lobster man was played by Guy Pringle. Wow. Wouldn't want to slam a stack of that guy. Hey. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Don't pay the ferryman. <laughs> Don't even fix the price. Maniac, maniac on the floor. Everybody, someday love will find you. <laughs> hey, the Balerians, all right. Hi, my name is Jeanette Mulkey. I'm a Balerian. This is my friend Laura Fremont. She's a Balerian too. There's no feeling at you know, it is statistically proven that 78% of white guys can sing like this. Really? <laughs> no one else wants to. Though no, I highly doubt it. I'm staying in my parents' basement till I find a job. A continuity, Beth Wilbraham? Can she be legally arrested now? Y you know, they really did have excellent clapping and loading. Yeah. Uh, so the best boy that they could come up with was Fuzzy Skinner? <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night. So I can mm -hmm. This band will be appearing at the Bombay Bicycle Club later this weekend. <laughs> okay, okay, Mike, be honest with us. Yeah. This music kind of really gets your blood going, huh? Yeah, Mike, this is your music done mm -hmm. by your people, so I blame you for this entire movie. Yeah, it's okay. just like you to make a movie like Jeez, this. Jeez, I hated Mike. it too. What are you picking on me for? Well, you were a young guy during the 80s, yeah, weren't you? Right, I mean, this right. is your world, admit it. Okay, now this. This, this. this here's the kind of music you get all weepy at at the end of a drunken Friday night, mm. sitting there with your hair all feathered, scarfing down uh, cold potato skins. Ah, uh, your attempt to get little Susie What's-Her-Name drunk on lime vodka ended in humiliating rejection. Right. So right. you sit there, all mushy and sentimental, reciting to yourself the words to some song by Night Ranger. You're pathetic. Yeah, yeah maybe one homely girl feels sorry for you for a second, but then she sees how stinking drunk you are and gets disgusted. I, I, and maybe the first chair trombone player from the high school band comes by, you know, and he takes pity on you, tries to drive you home and all. Oh, but no, Mike. No. You want to swerve home in your cherried out Dodge Charger. Yeah, you, you wind up wrestling for your keys with the guy, and then finally he drops you with one punch, and he leaves. And you lie there knowing you got your butt kicked by the leader of the high school band. You're pathetic. You in your 80s. Your precious 80s. You know, it would have continued to be the 70s if not for you. Yeah. All right, all right, that's it. That tears it. Hey, 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 come here, you. What a piece of me. Go time, 80s man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Joe, come on. I'll take you. Come on, 80s jerk. Come on, cool breeze, huh? Ow, ow, I don't. Ow, ow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you guys, wait. This isn't us, man. 
Yes, it is, you hair feathering freak. No, 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 Get him! No, no, Sir, no, Servo, no, he's right, he's right. This movie has us turning on each other. It won't end. No, These no. credits just won't end. It's just like the stupid 80s. They never ended no, either. No, actually, they did, Tom. No, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> See? See? There's the copyright. That means it's over. I'm sorry, Mike. It's sorry, all Mike. over, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, so what do you think? Am I buff or what? Am I blue twisted, cold rolled steel or what? Are you sure? You've lifted already. You're not planning to lift at some future date or anything. No, no, oh, no. Nope. I see it. I see it. Your arm goes along and then there's a little bump there. No, there's yep. this little ripped bicep is what you mean. Poindexter Crow, you're gone. No more the pathetic weenie to be pushed around at will. Yeah, great. Hey, Cambi, why don't you zoom in with a macro lens? What? Maybe we can get a you shot of that. You don't need no macro lens, Nelson. I am superbly buff and that's that. Uh, uh, hey, Mike, uh, could I get a spot over here, man? Uh, Servo, you're... Uh... Yeah, I know. I've got eight arms and a colossal tuckus, and all this from one leg press. Huh. I am quite susceptible to bulking up. Well, maybe you've done enough for one day, then. There, yeah, buddy. probably, but I'm addicted now. If I don't lift, I die. So if I, like, I could get a spot over here? Yeah, sure, no problem, man. Hey, man. First, got to talk to Pearl, though. No. All right. All right. See, see, I was going for tone. <laughs> well, Mike, here I am. Chained to a wall with an exceptionally stupid monkey. Oh, thank you. And a brainless, drooling nitwit. String tastes funny. Pearl Forrester. Great life, Pearl. Good job. Oh, Pearly girly, I thought I'd come down and remind you that you die at dawn tomorrow. You die at dawn tomorrow. Your breath stinks. Really? Well, uh... I'll be back later to remind you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Well, there it is, Mike. I see no way out. Observer is useless without his brain. What, what, what about my brain? <laughs> so we die tomorrow. I guess you guys are free to go. All right! Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, wow, uh... Boy, we're happy and all that we can go, but we'd really rather it didn't end this way, I mean, with you dying and all. Right, guys? Oh, oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is awkward anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, but maybe it's all for the best. This gives me a chance to make my peace with God or whatever. As I look back on my life, I see that I've been tormenting you for no good reason. And perhaps even at this late date, whatever powers over us all might see fit to forgive me for all the... Is this yours? Found it over there. Ah, my brain! Oh. Never mind, Nelson! Hey, hey, brain guy, we, yes. need, we need some sort of distraction for when Flavia returns. I know, could you try, like, a fake seduction on her? Oh, 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 oh no, I, no, 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 I could never seduce a woman, Pearl. Oh, because you're... Well, I, I thought you knew. I, I am completely and utterly... Without a body, I, I have no body. Well, thank you for coming out with that information. Oh, I know. Let's get Mike down here. Yeah, okay, Mike. here we go. Mike, 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 we need you to try like a fake seduction on Flavia. Oh, well, okay. Seducing a beautiful woman, not my forte, can maybe give you a 15 to 20 seconds. That should be fine. That's fine. Good, good, good. Old or lonely or infirm or oh, blind would you or please? something like that. Maybe. Here she comes. Oh, I got it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You? What are you doing here? Well, hey, if it isn't Flavia's daughter. What does that <laughs> even mean? Well, I... I, I yeah? guess it just means that... What the... Yeah. What? What? Come on, what? Bingo. Well, what in the... God! Seize them! What just... Thought I'd just grab this wheel of fuck to Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm.